an ICG cell is an integrated clock gating cell or it can be simply called a clock gate. It is one of the most important design elements especially in low power design. So at a high level an ICG looks like this where we have an enable pin, a clock in pin and a clock out pin. Through an ICG or clock gate we can prevent the clock signal from toggling when there is some logic in the design which is inactive or not switching. So as long as the enable signal is 1, the clock at the clock in pin will pass to the clock out pin. But as soon as enable becomes 0, the clock at the clock in pin won't pass to the clock out and clock out simply won't toggle. So if there is some inactive logic in the design, then a toggle in the clock is not needed and this will help us in saving dynamic power because dynamic power consumption comes directly from the toggling of the signal from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. If we take a look at what's inside an ICG, it is simply made up of a negative enabled latch and an AND gate. In a more detailed video later, we will take a look at how this circuit functions as well as why we cannot simply use an AND gate to implement clock gating. We will also take a look at how timing analysis is done on the enable pin of an ICG.